So this is our app Petbook. This is a map-based social media app for pet owners. In this app, you take on the persona of your pet and through this persona, you can find friends through a map-based interface and communicate with them via chat. You can also add a vet as your primary vet. In doing so, you will send all of your, all of your information over to that vet. So let's dive in. This is the login page of our app. If you already have an account, you can log in using your email and password. If you don't, you can just press on the red text over here and go to the sign up page, which is this page, and create an account from here. To create an account, you can just input your name, email, then your password, and then choose a breed and your dog's birthday. We have the 10 most popular breeds in Edmonton on the list, and we'll be sure to add more breeds as time comes by. So I already made an account for this demo, so I'm just going to use that to show you how this app works. So once you log in, you see the world map page. This page shows you all the dog parks located in Edmonton. From this main menu page, you can navigate to different aspects of this app. So let's see what this app has to offer. From the top right corner of the app, you can go to the profile screen. From the bottom right, you can go to the friend list. From the bottom left, you can go to the chat list. Each of these screens have their own different functionalities, which we'll see later. On the top left of the screen is the location indicator. When it's when I slide this, it turns off the location, and when I slide it again, it turns it back on. And on the screen, you will see all the different dog sparks in Edmonton. You can click on them. So, so now let's go to our profile screen and see what's going on. So in our profile screen, you will see your dog's information, such as its name, its gender given by the gender icon, its breed, its age, and its weight. You'll also see your dog's profile picture. On the bottom of the page are attribute parts. These attributes such as strength, speed, agility, intelligence, health, and obedience are just preset values at the moment. But in future development of this app, will these attribute values will be set depending on different events, such as speed might be set by, by how many times you walked your dog this week, obedience speed might be set by how many times your dog followed your orders, etc, etc. In this page, you can also see that your primary vet is selected. Right now, this uh, profile has Hampton Animal Hospital selected as its primary vet. If you press on the plus icon, you'll go to a vet map, which you'll go to right now. And from that vet map, you can select your primary vet. So in this vet map, you can select your primary vet. So the, these vet maps shows the current vets that are registered with this app in Edmonton. So there's the Delton Vet Clinic, the McTaggart Vet Clinic, and the Hampton Animal Hospital. So if you like a vet, you can just uh, go save the vet as your uh, primary vet. But to see more information about the vet, you can just go to their website, which is linked here. So just press on the link and it will take you to their website. In this website, you'll get all the information of the vet. And you can select this vet as your primary vet. So I'm going to just select Delton Vet Clinic as my primary vet. So as you can see, when I selected Delton Vet Clinic, it appeared as my primary vet on my pet profile. From your pet profile, you can also go into a, the settings menu, which is on the top right corner. So going into the settings menu, you can see four options. There's the account settings, which is changing your email and password. There's the dog profile settings, where you can change your dog's information. So I'm just gonna change my dog's information to Tom. And there's the upload picture, where you can just change your profile picture. So as you can see, when you change your information, it automatically updates on the profile screen. So now let's get back, go back to the main menu. 
from the main menu, you can select any of the given dog parks and just go into them. In the dog parks, you will see any, vis any of the visible uh, pet owners that are right now in the dog park. So right now in this Dawson dog park, there are two pet owners, R3 and R4. So I can add these pet owners by pressing on the add friend button at the top of their screen. Right now, R4, as, as you might have seen before, is a, I already sent a request to him and the request is impending. So I'll just send a request to RT and it will show the pending too. As you can see, when I press the add friend button, it changed to pending. Now going back into the main menu, I will go into another dog park to show you another feature. So in Turgweller Park, there's no other dogs. But as you can see, there's a mark. This marker leads to a store. So the concept behind this is that each park will have a list of stores assigned to them at different locations in the park. And you can and these will be set using markers. These markers will just redirect you to the website assigned to this store. These stores and this are saved in our database. So all these uh, markers will, are retrieved directly from our database. So another feature of this app is the chat. So going into the chat, you will see that um, I have already some conversations going on. So these are conversations with my friends. If I go into the friend list, I'll see that these two people are my friends. If I get any requests, it will show in this re notification request list. And on the top right corner of the screen, there you can add people if you know their specific user ID. So I'm going to go into chat and send a message to just show you how messaging works. So that was our entire app in a nutshell. Hope you liked it.